Welcome back. In this video, we'll be introducing you to an often overlooked animal in the Great Lakes ecosystem, the freshwater mussel. Mussels are classified as mollusks and are distantly related to snails, slugs, octopods, and squids. They are closely related to ocean-dwelling oysters, scallops, and clams. One of the key differences between freshwater mussels and their ocean-dwelling cousins is their shells. Unlike their ocean relatives, which have symmetrical shells, both sides of the shell are the same size, freshwater mussels have asymmetrical shells. One side is longer than the other. Freshwater mussels live in a large variety of habitats, from rivers to lakes to wetlands to urban streams. There are 41 species of freshwater mussel found in Ontario, including the wavy rayed lamp mussel. The wavy rayed lamp mussel can reach a length of 10 centimeters and live for up to 20 years. It is characterized by its rounded shell, which is a yellowish green in color, and which features wavy green lines. They are usually found in rivers with clear water. It lives in shallow riffle areas with clean gravel or sandy bottoms. In Canada, the wavy rayed lamp mussel is found only in Ontario, in the Grand, Upper Thames, Maitland, Ausable, and St. Clair rivers, and the Lake St. Clair Delta. It is classified as a species of special concern and has disappeared from Lake Erie, the Detroit River, and most of Lake St. Clair. Like all species of mussel, the wavy rayed lamp mussel filters the water to find its food which is primarily bacteria and algae. This method of feeding is also what makes freshwater mussels so important. They serve as natural filters of their habitats, and healthy populations of freshwater mussels are closely tied to water quality. Freshwater mussels rely on fish in order to complete their life cycles. Mussel larvae, called glycidia, must attach to a fish host where they remain attached feeding on nutrients as the fish moves through the water until they are large enough to drop off and settle in the sediment. The fish hosts of the wavy rayed lamp mussel are the small and large mouth bass. The presence of fish hosts is one of the key features to a habitat that is able to support a healthy population of freshwater mussel. In order to attract a fish host on which its parasitic larva can attach, the wavy rayed lamp mussel has developed an interesting adaptation in the form of a lure that looks something like a wiggling minnow. When fish approach to inspect, the female wavy rayed lamp mussel ejects its glochidia, which have a much better chance of attaching to the fish at that close range. Many of the 41 species of freshwater mussel in Ontario are classified as species at risk. As mentioned, the wavy rayed lamp mussel is a species of special concern. This decline is due to a large number of factors, including habitat alteration and degradation, the introduction of invasive species, in particular zebra and quagga mussels, and conditions that can lead to the decline of possible fish hosts. One of the main ways in which to protect a species at risk, such as the wavy rayed lamp mussel, is to better protect its habitat. One of the key initiatives to protect the wavy rayed lamp mussel and other freshwater mussel species in Ontario has been habitat restoration in both urban and rural areas of the province. In our final video of this series, we'll discuss the personal actions that we can all take to make a difference when it comes to the conservation of aquatic species at risk.